On February 7, Ahmad Zahid Hamidi hinted that he will make his comeback as the president of UMNO. Previously, on December 18, he went on a garden leap after charges were slapped on him along with the massive UMNO exodus. Before going on leave, Zahid appointed his deputy Muhammad Hassan as the acting president of UMNO. Meanwhile, Ismail Sabri moved up as the acting deputy president. It is also noticeable that Zahid became quiet in August 2018, two months after he was appointed as the president of UMNO. At the time, Tun Mahathir claimed that Zahid has $230 million in asset. However, Minister in the Prime Minister's Department, Liu Bui Kiong, said that the government does not have the evidence, but the MACC will look into the matter. Zahid went under the radar after the incident. His media exposure spiked in October after he was slapped with 45 charges involving CBT, money laundering and also bribery. On the other hand, from the share of voice, we can see that Muhammad Hassan's activity in the media has significantly increased after he was appointed as the party acting president. He has become more active than Zahid in the media for the past one month period. However, Zahid quickly re-emerged into the media spotlight after he hinted his return. But so do the charges. The media still mention about them when they vote on Zahid. They said Muhammad Hassan is just an assemblyman, not a parliamentary member, which will make it difficult for him to become an opposition leader. Additionally, there is the possibility that Rantau by election will commence if the court rule out that Hassan uncontested win in GE14 as null and void. Thus, which is the better option for Amno? Zahid returned as the party president or Zahid officially stepping down and paid way for Hassan. <laughs>